I may have gotten better at public speaking, but <laughs> I ain't Rodney <laughs> or Mayor Turner. Um, thank you guys. Uh, just getting to know both of you um, who have been uh, idols and icons for me for literally my whole adult life. I don't want to age you two guys that much, but you know, um, it's, it's just when you regularly hear two men like that stand up and talk about you and, and put their name and their reputation behind, the, behind what they believe you can do is it's humbling, it's shocking. Um, and I will forever be grateful to you two, uh, forever. Um, all right, so as y'all know, I can go on and on and on, but I'm not going to because Alex is gonna lose his mind. So really, this is just going to be thank you. And thank every one of you. And we're just going to keep going up and down volume-wise because I don't know when this is working or not. So, um, But thank you. Okay. All right, we're done. No. Okay, get it, get it. We have a vision. We have something that we really all want to do. And what you just saw with those numbers absolutely means that the public's coming with us. The voters are coming with us. We are going to change Harris County. There are so many people that I need to thank, um, and I'm not going to be able to thank all of them by name, some of them because they're still scared. <laughs> but uh, those... I want you to know, you know who you are, and I love you, and I am so appreciative of all the help behind the scenes that you've given, way behind the scenes. Um, and to my campaign staff, Alex and Rocky, um, I, I met them in back-to-back -back days, and both of them were like, you're good, no. No, this this probably I mean we'll take your money but this is probably not a great plan. I met Rocky at, in a dish society in my baseball coaching outfit with Bo just sitting behind us like Dad can we get to practice? And go Irish exactly. And so then a year from then to be here is just amazing. Christina is our social media director. Christina Cornelius. Um, I met her when she was my barista at Starbucks in 2018. I knew she was incredibly talented then. What she has done over the last year in communicating our message is unparalleled. I mean, it's... It really, I don't want to talk her up too much because nobody get any ideas. We still have a general to run. <laughs> Kira, who I just learned goes by Kira, not Shakira. Like, <laughs> like two two months ago. I'm not kidding you. Two months ago, she changes. I've known her since 2017. We've worked like hand in hand, and she's like, "Well, you know, my friends call me Kira." I was like, "Who? Who am I?" <laughs> so anyway, it's Kira, one of the smartest political minds I've ever been around. Just listening to you always make me feel better. I almost don't want to thank Elizabeth because it's going to make her make me do more call time. Uh, but I couldn't do this without Elizabeth Connors. She has been amazing in finance and, and just forcing me to actually be a candidate. Um, which is hard. The groups, the organizations that have gotten behind this, this um, campaign, from labor, Jay Malone and the AFL-CIO, the actual just, the, the boots on the ground work that they've done is incredible. Meeting with these young apprentices and, and just getting what they do has been eye-opening, but I am so thankful for the work that they've done. Um, Working Families Party, just. I mean, you can't.
kidding me? Like they they roll very deep. Um, and they have been just so invaluable in their help knocking doors. And that brings me to the Texas Organizing Project. And so when I when I tell you 